by Tim and the sculpture show. Karen was there. And I decided that I would imbibe iron after the works that you guys did. Yeah. Uh, less Larry, but um, those other guys uh, did some mean work in the sculpture. Yeah. And I and it's in it's in my crop. So these are old pieces, but I've never read them. Um, and the first one is, and my name is Judith Freeman. And hi, I don't think I met you. Did you just come in? Uh, yeah. Did you introduce yourself? <laughs> they will. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. So the first one's <laughs> called Iron Dreams. Um, and this is dedicated to my kid, right? <clears throat> Iron Dreams. At 2 a.m., I move my son to his own bed and slip into the warm space he leaves behind. He returns at first light and displaces me, his face imprinting the tousled sheets, and sleeps the dream of complete love. When I was a child, I would leave, I'm sorry, when I was a child being belt whooped, I would leave that terror as if lifted from myself. Returning sometime later in the curled up, swimpering, simpering position of a little girl on a bed. I approach love with great anticipation, but I lose a sense of where I am in the machinery of things. The bodies going up and down, down and up, like pistons gasping for air. The desire for it to end rises from me like steel. Thank you. Right.